Hello, welcome to Jamie's Humble Home. Today we're going to be crocheting this adorable little Briar Bunny crochet pattern. This makes the perfect little gift for Easter or for any special occasion. And the pattern is available for instant download, linked in the video description down below if you would like to print the pattern out while you work this up. And for today's project, I'm going to be working this pattern up with a number four worsted weight yarn and this zero weight fuzzy yarn. You're also going to need a needle, a stitch marker, some scissors, and I'm working this up with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we will begin today by working six single crochet into a magic ring. Once you've worked six single crochet into your magic ring, just go ahead and pull your magic ring tight. And for round two, we're going to be doing six increases. So you'll just go ahead and place two single crochet into every stitch around. For this second round, I usually just count my stitches and count 12 around instead of placing a stitch marker. And for round three, this is where I like to go ahead and add in my stitch marker so that I don't lose track of my rounds. We will be doing one single crochet for round three followed by an increase. So I'm just placing my stitch marker into the first single crochet followed by an increase and just repeat that all the way around six times. And then for round four you will be doing two single crochet followed by an increase and then repeat that six times around. So just replace your stitch marker into the first stitch and then you will work two single crochet followed by an increase all the way around. And round five after you work that first single crochet and replace your stitch marker then you will be working three single crochet followed by an increase and don't forget that stitch marker is in your first stitch. So work two more single crochet followed by an increase and repeat that all the way around. Get my stitch marker replaced into my first stitch for round six. In round six we will be working four single crochet followed by an increase six times around. You will end this round with 36 stitches. And then rounds seven through 13, you're simply gonna work one single crochet into every stitch around. So do 36 single crochet for rounds seven through 13, and I'll meet you back here at the end of round 13. For round 14, you're gonna work four single crochet followed by a decrease six times, and you will end this round with 30 stitches. Round 15, you would be working three single crochet followed by a decrease six times around, and you will complete round 15 with 24 stitches. So just work three single crochet followed by a decrease all the way around. Round 16, you're going to continue this along, working two single crochet followed by a decrease six times around. And just repeat that all the way around. You should end this round with 18 stitches. So now we're ready to embroider the face. The pattern is worked up with larger size yarn and it has us embroider the face after we have completed the head, but I'm gonna do this one round early so that I can still fit my fingers up in here. So you're just gonna be adding your eyes on round seven. It's going to be seven rows from the top and then work those nine stitches apart and I'm just embroidering these on. You can also use safety eyes if you want uh, like the pattern suggests. So you can do it either way whether you want to embroider or use safety eyes and I'm just embroidering with some black thread a few times around for each eye 
and I just like to tie my yarn ends so that they don't come slipping out. And then I'm going to go back over the black with just a little bit of white up in the eye, give these eyes just a little bit of a highlight. And just like with the black yarn, once I get my white yarn in place, then I just like to tie that into place so it doesn't come out. And now I'm going to go ahead and place the nose and the mouth. And the nose you will embroider on just on the row, just below the eyes, and work a few st stitches across. You can work your nose however you like it, but I just go side to side a few times and then work that mouth in come down through the center and you can see I am stitching with two strands and then I just stitch to each side to get my little mouth in place back up to the center and then when I have all of that finished go ahead and cut my yarn and then I tie my ends for that as well So for the last round of the head, round 17, you're just going to work one single crochet followed by a decrease all the way around and you will end with 12 stitches. Again, just work one single crochet, which our stitch marker is in that first single crochet, followed by a decrease for this last round. And once you reach the end of round 17, then you can go ahead and fasten off. You just want to make sure when you fasten off you leave yourself a nice long tail so that we can sew this to the body. And then once our head is complete then you can go ahead and fill it with a little bit of stuffing. Just be sure not to overstuff your head. And now we have our head complete so we're going to go ahead and work up our ears. And to do the ear you're going to begin by working six single crochet into a magic ring. Once you've worked six single crochet into your magic ring, go ahead and pull that tight. And for round two, we will be doing six increases. So work two single crochet into each stitch around, and you'll end round two with 12 stitches. Round three, you will work 12 single crochet, so just work one single crochet into each stitch around for round three. This is where I'm going to go ahead and start using my stitch marker for my ears so I don't lose track of my rounds. And for round four, you're going to do one single crochet followed by an increase six times around. And you will end this round with 18 stitches. And then for rounds 5 through 20, and you can go up to round 27, the pattern, <coughs> pattern calls for you to go up to round 27, but I decided to stop this. I think just with the smaller worsted weight yarn, my ears were going to get too long to go up to round 27. So go ahead and work your ears as long as you would like them, anywhere between 20 to 27 rounds. Just working one single crochet in each stitch around, 18 stitches around. And when you reach the top of your ear, we are going to single crochet across and single crochet both sides together. So you will work, it's just eight or nine stitches across. And you're going to repeat the exact same thing and make a second ear. I'm just testing this out to see how it'll look once it gets sewn on. I'm satisfied with my length, so I'm glad that I went a little shorter on these ears. And after you work up the ears, now we will begin our legs. For the legs, you'll begin by working six single crochet into a magic ring. Once you have your six single crochet in your magic ring, go ahead and pull your ring tight. And for round two, we will be working six increases. 
and that is two single crochets into each stitch around. Again, I just count my way around for this round. You will end with 12 stitches by working two single crochet into each stitch around. Rounds 3 through 18 for your legs, we will be doing 12 single crochet around. And so this is where I'm going to place my stitch marker and begin keeping track of my rounds so that I don't lose track of my rounds. And you will just put one single crochet into every stitch around up through round 18. And then after you finish your first leg and get to the end of round 18, then you will go ahead and fasten off and then you're going to repeat and make a second leg. When you finish the second leg, do not fasten off. We are going to instead <coughs> connect and start our body. So to, to do this, to connect, we'll, we'll just take and tuck in our tail from the first leg that will just hide inside the leg. and. It'll get stuffed in there later on. So I'm just tucking in the tail. And then to connect our legs, we're going to go ahead and chain two. After you've worked your 18 rounds for that leg, chain two. And then to connect to the other leg, we'll just go ahead and remove our stitch marker. Slide your hook right into the next stitch as if you were just going to be working right into that next stitch and go ahead and work a single crochet. And this is where you will replace your stitch marker. This is the new stitch one for our body going around. And this will be round one for the body. And for rounds one through 12, you will just be working one single crochet into each stitch across and it'll be 28 single crochet. When you get to your little chain two here in the middle, you're just going to work one single crochet into each chain. So you have your 12 single crochet for each leg, plus then you're adding two single crochet on each side of your chain. So you'll end with 28 stitches. So again, for rounds two through 12, after you finish this first round, you will continue to just work one single crochet in each stitch around 28 single crochet for rounds for the body rounds 1 through 12. And again, I'm just replacing my stitch marker into the first stitch of the round and then I will continue to work my body up around, working one single crochet into each stitch. This gives you 28 stitches around for the body. <coughs> and you will work the body up through round 12, and I'll meet you right back here. Once you have done 12 rounds on your body, round 13 will be five single crochet, followed by a decrease. You're going to repeat that four times around and you will end round 15 with 24 stitches. Round 14 is four single crochet followed by a decrease. And you're gonna repeat that four times around you will end this round with 20 stitches. Round 15 is three single crochet followed by a decrease. And again, you're going to repeat that four times around and you will end this round with 16 stitches. Round 16, we'll be working two single crochet followed by a decrease. Again, you're going to repeat that four times around, and you will end this round with 14 stitches.
that was the last round of our body. And so you can go ahead and fasten off. And I am going to make a mini tail. So the pattern calls for just using like a little hat pom-pom that you can sew on there, but that would be way too big for this little bunny. So I am just using some of this little zero weight little fuzz yarn. Um, it's like Angora or something like that. And making a little tiny fluffy pom-pom to use for her tail. And you will just place the tail. Oh, I just do a couple stitches up from the bottom of the legs and tie that into place. And you could always use a little pom-pom or just make a little pom-pom with some yarn. And we're just going to get that tied into place. Cut the pom-pom, get it all trimmed up, make it look nice. Give her a nice little fluffy tail. And then now we're going to begin our arms. So to work the arms, you're going to begin by making a magic ring, and then you'll be working four single crochet into your magic ring. Once you have four single crochet worked into your magic ring, go ahead and pull that tight. And for round two, we will be doing four increases. So work two single crochet into each stitch around. And you will end round two with eight stitches. Rounds three through 17. Go ahead and do eight single crochet. You're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around for rounds three through 17. Once you've worked up those 17 rounds, round 18, you're just going to single crochet across and single crochet the two sides together. You'll be working four single crochet across. And it's okay if you just get three in there also. I ended up with one arm having three single crochet across and then I squeezed a fourth into the second one. But we just want to get this arm single crocheted together. I do like trying to squeeze that fourth stitch in there. It just kind of helps the arm look a little bit more uniform. And then we'll go ahead and fasten off, leaving a long enough tail so we can sew our arm to the body once we're finished. And you're just going to repeat and make a second arm exactly the same and then you can begin assembly. So we're going to start assembling our little bunny here. So using a tapestry needle, crochet needle, embroidery needle, something like that, I'm going to go ahead and begin by sewing on the ears. And what I'm going to do to start with is to just go ahead and fold it in half and close off this other side. So you can see me stitching the two sides together. This will just hold the ear closed. I'm going to stitch around and begin getting this stitched onto the head. I like to hold the ear in place and really take a look at what angle you want it. You can kind of pin it in place. Make sure you have the ear positioned where you like it before you start sewing. And I sewed mine on the fourth round down from the top. And you can put them as close to the front or right onto the side or closer to the back or really just hold them into place and and get it sewn the way that you like it. I just sewed straight across round four if you wanted to kind of angle it to the back and sew, you know, across a couple of rounds you could do that as well. But just get your ears, go ahead and sew them into place and just make sure, you just want to make sure that when you are sewing on your ears, since we didn't uh, crochet the two rounds together at the end, and it's just folded, make sure you're getting through both sides of that ear, through both edges as you sew on to the head. And just work your way across, stitch by stitch, 
You can sew back and forth a couple try t a couple of times if you'd like, just to make sure they're secured nice and strong. I like to secure it with a slip knot, but you can just go ahead and weave that little tail in. When you get to the end of your ear, I'm just going a couple stitches back across for added securement. And then when you get to the end, just go ahead and weave that end in. You can see I did my little slip knot. And then hide it inside the ear. Go ahead and cut, cut your strand there and repeat the same thing for the second ear. Go ahead and get your other ear sewn onto the head. Once your ears are sewn onto your head, then I go ahead and stuff my body. And you just want to make sure not to overstuff, but get your stuffing down into your legs. And so that I don't overstuff, I'm just kind of trying to get, you know, get this shaped into place and squish, squish my stuff all around my cotton or polyfill. The end of our crochet hook really comes in handy. I've also used knitting needles for this. Once you get the body all stuffed, you don't want to overstuff again once again because then you can you start separating your stitches. See your filling in between your stitches. You do want it stuffed enough to wear. You know, just stuff it up to your liking. You want it firm enough but not overstuffed. I have a little bulge sticking out from the body so that I can kind of shove that up into the head when I sew the two together and this will just kind of help keep the head from being super floppy. And I do like to sew my head on both with my body strand and with my head strand so it actually gets sewn on double two times around and I just go stitch by stitch working my, my way around and I start with my body strand. You can start with either one so both with the head strand and with the body strand and this just keeps the head really nice and secure so that it doesn't get pulled off. So after you have your head sewed on and you have weaved in your ends, cut your ends, then last thing we need to do, I'm just going to give my tail one, one last little trim here. Noticed it was a little wonky, so give my tail a last little trim. And the last thing we need to do here is to sew on our arms. And I just go one round below like the neck and just get it right onto the side. But um, if you wanted to sew yours right up in the neckline, you could do that. If you wanted to go a couple rounds lower, you could do that. But Mine is in the second round of the body, just one round below the neck. And I sew a couple of times across, just so that the arm is nice and secure. And then I like to end my corner with a little slip knot before I weave in my end and cut my end. And once you're finished sewing on your arms, then your bunny is complete. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.